show three different ways of creating bootable USB drives. And the first one's multi system. Obviously, obviously, I've already found it on the internet and installed it, etc. So you just start it, and this is the first screen. Select the device, which in my case is SDC. Confirm. It'll do. Ask me this question here. Uh, to can install Grub on it, so I'll just say OK. The beauty of this system is, um, no pun intended there, that you can put multiple distros onto the one USB drive. So this is the, um, see I just dragged it down there, put in the Administrator password, your pseudo password. Um, I'm just using Lubuntu 14.04.4 because it's a nice small distro, it's only 700, nearly 800 megabytes, and it's a USB 3 drive and USB 3 um, port that's plugged into there, so this shouldn't take too long, just let that run through there and yeah you can put multiple distros on which is pretty handy because most USB drives you know probably at least two or four gigabytes whatever some of them got room for more than one and I know myself I've ended up with about ten USB keys laying around the place with one distro on each and one on there and one on there and some utilities on there but I formatted it up up a, um, a 16 gig drive the other day, left a, a few gigabytes at the end of it to put some tools and other utilities on there that I could access during an installation if I needed to, and um, put half a dozen different Linux distros on there and Windows 10 on there, worked out quite good. So we're just about done here. It's um, updating grub and I could easily just you know, drag some other um, .iso files out here and drag them in there but I'm not because it's just a simple demonstration here so let's keep it fairly simple you just basically just grab the next file and drag it in there once it's finished the first one and, and just continue there we go it's all done and there it is there so I'll quit out of there and I'm just going to delete that recreate another fat partition there on the same device mount it, close out of that, next one's unit booting, same type of thing, find your way to your file, and click the big OK button, make sure you're going to the right device again, SDC, and away we go. It'll be interesting when I'm looking at the um, the video here which one of these wrote the same file to the same device in the same port in the least amount of time. But we'll worry about that later on. So th this is unit boot and I've been mostly using this uh, when I first started using Linux. I um, initially I, I had probably Windows XP installed and that died and I was looking for alternatives and ended up finding Linux Mint and used that for about six months or so or twelve months whatever it was on and off um, and I was just burning them to DVD and then after a while I learned how I discovered Unit Booting figured out how to work it 
sort of does most of the the distros. As I've found, no one of these tools can write every every ISO file. Oh, not in my experience, anyway. Um, I'm no no guru or expert by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, managed to get these these couple of ways going here. And unit booting is certainly given me plenty of USB drives. There we go. That's done. Uh, over the last few years, so I'll just exit out of there and I'll come back here. I'll just delete it because that's the purpose of the exercise here. And we'll just create a new. I don't even know that I need to do this for the final method, but I'm going to anyway, just, just to be fair. Okay, so the final method is actually this utility here, disks, or sometimes called GNOME disks, depending on your um, distro you're using, and so we're just going to select, that's our drive there obviously, partition, more actions over here, restore disk image, Sandler Ubuntu. It's just telling me it's 15 gigs smaller than a target device. We'll hit start restoring. Restore. Put in that magic special password again. And there we go. That's writing that to disk. Uh, I don't know 100% that this way will work with Lubuntu. I don't know that multi system will. Um, I'd imagine probably unit boot and will because I've probably done it before. I know I've played with this distribution before. But there's three ways that I've been been uh, creating my USB drives, bootable USB drives, over the last several years. And I must say, when um, for some reason, I, I, uh, when Zyron 11 came out, because I'm a bit of a Zyron fan, when Zyron 11 came out, I had trouble. I couldn't actually create disks on it using UNET booting for some reason. Uh, it appeared to work, and I th think from memory it went through the process, but then they just they would not boot. Everything looked okay, but they just wouldn't boot. And I started looking for other alternatives and stumbled across this, so I was using this, and I think I kept. Zora 9 on another machine or whatever I did. There you go, well done. Um, but this was just sort of an accidental discovery that I made. So there you go, there's, there's three ways. There is a fourth way which is um, Rufus, R-U-F-U-S, Rufus. Um, I've got that on my Windows 10 machine and that works pretty darn good too I must say, but I'm not, not including that here because it's on a different machine and there's three ways I've shown and a fourth way I've told you about so go on um, play with them. Cheers.